Well, Borodara, everyone, I've got a fairy tale to read with you today. And because we've been doing the highway rat, and it's quite a lot of that is about kindness, isn't it? Because the highway rat was really, really unkind. We're going to read the frog prince. And see this princess here? She can be a little bit unkind, but you know, this frog sees through her unkindness. Okay, let's get started. Let's open the cover. And don't forget, these books are free for you all to find on Oxford Owl. So, there we are. We're looking at the contents page of this book because it's actually more than one story. We're going to only read The Frog Prince today. Oh, look, there's a bit of a story map here. Let's have a little think what's happening. Well, I can see the princess. And I can see that says happy birthday and there's balloons and she's having something that she must really like because look at the big smile on her face. Then, uh-oh, she's looking really upset because that thing that she loves has gone in the pond. Then when we follow this one, you can see the princess with the things she loves walking away and there's a frog with his arms in the air. And if you look carefully at this one, there's the princess. And I think she's having dinner with her mummy. And look, who who's this coming through here? It's the frog, isn't it? Look at this one. The frog is sat at the table having dinner. But now the frog is changing. He's now a little boy. And at the end, they all get married. Look, the, prince the princess and the little boy, who must be a prince because he's wearing a crown, are married. Shall we find out what happens? Long ago and far away, there lived a princess. On her birthday, the queen said, I promise to give you any toy you want. There she is. Look at all these presents and all these balloons. I want a ball made of gold, said the princess. There are no balls made of gold, said the queen. But a promise is a promise, said the princess. I think this princess is a little bit spoilt. So the queen had a ball of gold made for the princess. One day, the princess was playing with her ball, but the ball fell into the pond. I have lost my ball made of gold, said the princess. She began to cry. Look, there's that exclamation mark again, isn't it? A small frog hopped over to the princess. I can get your ball back, the frog said. Frogs can't talk, said the princess, exclamation mark again. Well, I can, said frog. I will get your ball back, said frog, but only if you make me a promise. I will promise anything you like, said the princess. You can even have my crown. A frog has no need for a crown said frog what do you want then said the princess i want you to promise to be my friend said frog easy said the princess i will do that so frog jumped into the pond he got the ball back just as he had promised now we will be friends he said look at this splash the princess grabbed the ball she did not say thank you to frog Hey, said Frog, what about your promise? But the princess just ran away. Now then, she said to her mammy, a promise is a promise, and yet she's broken her promise to the frog. Do you think that's a very kind thing to do? Later, as the princess ate her supper, she heard a sound. What's that, said the queen. Nothing, said the princess, but I think she does know because look, can you see these marks around her face? I think that shows that she's she's a bit surprised. Like she goes, <gasps> and you can hear tip tap as the frog comes in. Open the door, said the queen. No, please don't, said the princess. The queen opened the door. Oh no, said the princess. Frog came into the room. Good evening, he said. What do you want, frog, said the queen. I want the princess to be my friend, just as she promised, said Frog. I can't be friends with a cold, wet frog, said the princess. 
A promise is a promise, said the Queen. Oh dear, look at her face. Oh, he's looking a little bit cross, isn't he, the frog? So Frog sat at the table and ate supper from a plate made of gold. <coughs> now will you go back to the pond, said the princess. A real friend would let me stay, said Frog. A promise is a promise. So Princess took Frog up to her bedroom. You can sleep in this nice box, said the Princess. A real friend would let me sleep on her pillow, said Frog. So the Princess put Frog on her pillow. As he sat on the pillow, magic happened. Frog grew and grew. He changed into a boy. Who are you? said the Princess. And look, but a question mark this time. I am a prince, said the boy. A witch turned me into a frog. The only thing that could turn me back into a prince was somebody being a good friend to me. But I was a bad friend, said the princess. I didn't like you at first. You were a good friend, said the prince. You gave me food. You even let me sit on your pillow. The princess and the prince began, became real friends. They liked to play with a ball made of gold, but they never went near the pond. When they grew up, the prince and princess got married. They promised to love each other forever, and they did love each other forever and ever. After all, a promise is a promise. Oh, so she started off, she wasn't very kind to him to start with, but... She was like the highway rat and she saw the error of her ways, which means she changed her behaviour, didn't she? So don't forget, if you make somebody a promise, like if you promise to help Mammy tidy your bedroom, don't then say to Mammy, oh, I can't be bothered to tidy my bedroom, you can do my bedroom. Because that's breaking you a promise, isn't it? Have a lovely day, everybody, and I'll see you soon. I'll vow.